Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rashine. If you're new here, if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you've been here before, hey, welcome back. Uh, today we have a different kind of a video. I don't think I've never done one like this before, but I see them and I think they're pretty cool. So I'm gonna make one today. So as you can see, I just went to the grocery store and this is about a $600 haul of groceries. And I know you're just like, what the actual heck? But I will go through and show you what we got. So obviously this is um, gonna last us like a while. Um, I like to do like these huge hauls, maybe like once or twice a year because they really help out with like weekly grocery shopping. Um, and I'll explain that in a second. Um, let me try to find somewhere to put y'all. So doing these huge hauls really help out during the week when I have to go grocery shopping because there's certain things that I can omit off my list or if I don't have time to go that week, I can still like, you know, make food for the family or whatever. So when I do these large hauls, usually I get like a, lot, a ton of bread because we eat a ton of bread and I get um, like a ton of meat and usually like some canned stuff like pasta sauces or like dry things, rice, that kind of stuff. I did not get any like rice or canned things today. Um, my haul mostly consisted of meat and bread today, but let me show you exactly what I got. Also, I go to like a couple different grocery stores. It just depends on like what kind of mood I'm in, which stores I go to, but I most always go to like Food Town because they have tons of meat in there. I always go to Food Town and get meats and um, Aldi, I always go there for my bread because they have the best bread selection. And I will either go to like Kroger or HEB for like produce stuff. And then I, most of the time I always go to like um, some sort of Asian market. So I, this, I always go to Hong Kong market to get like, um, I'll show you, this is just random stuff. Like I, like I always buy like a box of noodles or something from Hong Kong market for those days. It's like no one wants to cook and just need something quick. So let me show you what I got. So, to start off the haul, we have all the meats. So I have three things of bacon. Two of them are peppered bacon. And then um, this one's just like regular applewood bacon. I have different like cuts of beef here. Um, some of these are steaks. Some of them are roast and short ribs. I got a whole chicken. I got a couple things of chicken breast and chicken tenderloins here. Those. And this is turkey necks. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet. Usually, like, I'm from Louisiana, so we just boil these. Like, that's how we eat them. But yeah, I have two packs of those. And this is some more beef, just some like round uh, eye and some fajita beef. And what is this? Some more steak. Like just little thin cuts of steak. Then I got some chicken wings, um, two packs of those, and I have four things of ribs, I believe. And these just come in handy, like I said, when you just wanna like throw something quick, I can put this in the oven real quick, I can smother them, I can do all kinds of things with ribs. So <laughs> I have two different kinds of sausage. I have smoked sausage and then kielbasa sausage. I also got the little, like the little smokies. Um, Ray likes these, so. The turkey ones and the cheddar cheese ones. I've never had this kind before, so it should be interesting. I got some deli meat. I do get fresh deli meat like from the deli sometimes, but when I don't do that, then I get like the prepackaged kind because it's just easy. And then I have some, um, what is this? Smoked turkey necks as well. You can use this for like red beans or cabbage or something. Um, Cause they don't really sell like salt meat here in like, Texas, I know I'm sounding real country right now, but like, <laughs> that's just how you get flavor in your greens and stuff, so I use this. Um, this is some, I got some ground chuck and then just some regular ground beef here. So I got four of those because we still actually have some left in the freezer from the last time I did one of these hauls, so I just need a little bit. And all of this stuff is from Food Town. All of these meats are from Food Town, right here. Okay, and so also this over here, I have these um, vegetable spring rolls. I love these. You can like pop them in the air fryer and they're super good with like some sweet chili sauce. All right, and let's just start the rest of the haul. So I have some ginger snaps. I got some squash here. I have some ginger snaps, some squash, 
I have some star fruit, got that from the Asian market. Just some ketchup. I'm not sure if this kind of tastes good. I'm kind of picky about my ketchup, but I think Aldi has good ketchup. I usually just buy like um, Hunt's because I know it tastes good. <laughs> um, I have some blueberry pomegranate juice, some green juice because we buy this weekly. I know it has a ton of sugar, but it's still kind of good for you, I guess. <laughs> I got peppermint mocha. Um, I don't even know what this is. This is like a milk drink or something. It looked good, so I bought it. And then I got this eggnog one. I don't, I'm scared because I don't really like store-bought eggnog because it's usually really, really sweet and that's just not the type of time I'm on, but we'll see. I have two of these little um, pomegranate like teas. This one is the orange blossom tea and I think I have another one too. Uh-oh. This one is the lemonade tea. I have these for rain. He said it was nasty, so it's strawberry, banana, like smoothie drink. He didn't like it, so I don't know. What the, I didn't taste it. I got these aloe waters um, from the Asian market, and this one is a strawberry one. I have some rice milk, and then we have a ginger aloe water. I'm super excited to try this. Um, I'll let you guys know how it tastes. Okay, so I got this from um, Food Town. It was like some ginger aloe, so like you can put aloe in any drink that you want. And I thought that was pretty cool, so I will try this out and let you know how it tastes as well. I have some fresh cranberries because I'm having a Christmas party this weekend and I wanna put these in my drinks. And as well as like, I saw this cranberry dip on the internet and I wanna try that, so got that. Um, we got some raspberries, blackberries, some grapes. Those are bad bananas that our elf on the shelf um, wrote on today because someone needs to eat those. Not gonna be me because I don't like no bananas if they ain't green, period. Some sriracha. <laughs> I got some curry because I needed some. And then I also, from the Asian grocery store, got a pickled radish. And I usually just cut this up. And sometimes it just depends. Sometimes I can eat the whole thing like in a couple days or sometimes it takes me like a little bit longer. But I just cut it up and put it in like a mason jar so I can have some when I want some. Um, oh, I was so excited to go to the Asian market today and find these, y'all. It's been months since we've had these. I love this fruit, I borderline don't even wanna show y'all, to be honest. <laughs> I love these fruit concentrates. This is how like, I put in like rain smoothie or like you can use it for different things. It's like strawberry concentrate. So like if you ever had like a boba drink or something, they usually use this in their, their drinks and it's like super sweet, but it, you don't even need a lot at all. Like I can use this, it'll probably take me like at least six months to a year to finish one of these, but they were out of stock for so long, so I was so happy to see it back in stores today. So I got the strawberry one, and I also have the mango, the mango one as well. Yeah, so I got the strawberry, and I got the mango one, and then here I have some olive oil. Um, I got some kale, because we like kale salads. Uh, I got this from Aldi actually, and they look, I don't know, it just looks interesting, so I wanted to try it. It's um, sparkling fresh sugar plum apple cider. Thought it might taste good. I honestly thought it was like an alcoholic drink, but it ain't, it's just juice, so whatever. Um, at the grocery store today, at H-E-B, they had purple potatoes, so I got those. I'm gonna figure out how to cook them this week, like what I'm gonna do with it, but I just wanted them because I never see them there, at least not in this size. They usually like the small ones, like the little round ones, but I was happy to see those. We got some lemons here, some onions, red and yellow onions, some garlic, green onions, cilantro, um, I guess some minced garlic. I buy this like once or twice a year, depending on how fast I go through it, but it lasts a long time. It's better than buying a small one every time you go, girl, because I'm about to get time. Just buy the big one. Um, some new bananas. These are kind of like, period. <laughs> um, I got some crackers, just different kinds, because again, I'm having a party. And also, we like to eat these crackers, so if I don't eat them at the party, we'll eat them at home. Um, I have a bunch of limes. And honestly, I hate using these little plastic bags, but I didn't have a choice today, because there's 30 limes in here, because they were 15 for a dollar. And I knew that I would use like 15 for one thing, so I was like, well, I'll just get two times. It was only a dollar, so I got 30 limes. And at the Asian grocery store, you can get like a bunch of ginger for like not that expensive. So this whole bag was like $5.99. And I think it's like a six pound bag of ginger or something. It's heavy, it's a lot of ginger in here. So um, I kind of want to like ferment some in some honey. And then I need to figure out how I'm gonna like preserve it because sometimes 
I don't use it all and I feel bad about that, but I'm not gonna let that happen this time. So I will let you guys know how I decide to preserve that. Um, we got these candy canes because Rain wanted to try these. I hope they're good because I definitely bought two of them. Um, but mostly we were both in shock because we didn't know Juicy Drop had candy canes. I don't know what this the little liquid that's at the bottom, so I guess it's sour. I'm not sure, but whatever. We got a gingerbread house. It's like an igloo kind because we're supposed to have a competition today. These chips are from Aldi. Just regular little chips, child. Some hot cocoa mix. I usually like to buy the really big container of this, but I didn't see one today. They only had the one without the marshmallows, so I didn't even worry about it. I just got one pack and I will find it from somewhere else. Um, we got the, dang, I opened this. We got the family pack of graham crackers. Listen, I know y'all see a lot of stuff over here that's just like different brands and everything. One thing about it and two things for sure, Honey may put some extra in a graham crackers, so don't play with them. Because if you try to get the store brand, it's gonna taste like cardboard. Fight me. <laughs> it's gonna taste like cardboard. Do not play with them. Just give them their money. They got the game on lock. Like, period. That's just what it is, okay? I got these from Aldi. As you can see, I already opened them. They're not very good. So, they're like really, from looking, from looking at the picture, I thought they were gonna be like hard. But they're soft, so like a like like bread. Like it wasn't what I was expecting, and I don't really like it to be honest. Um, also through my house, I I don't know if I mentioned this, but I buy a ton of cheese. I didn't buy nearly as much cheese as I normally do, but we shred our cheese fresh here. So um, yeah, I stopped buying like shredded cheese maybe like a year ago, or I feels like a year ago, at least a year ago. I stopped buying shredded cheese and. I only buy cheese like in the box because it just tastes better, honestly. So I, I bought some Kobe Jack here. We got some mild cheddar, um, some sharp cheddar, and some Munster cheese and some Swiss cheese. This cheese freezes really, really good if you didn't know. So you literally can just stick it in the freezer and the day you want to shred it, just pull it out early and then it'll be ready for you. Like it's perfect, love it. Then I have these sea salt chips that had like a chokehold on my family. Wait a minute girl, I just thought on these. Yeah, it's on there. The sea salt chips that had a hole in my family, but I haven't bought them in months, so I'm gonna make some guac today and I'll have it with those chips. Rain wanted to try some shrimp chips from the Asian market and they were really good. He liked them a lot, but he didn't eat the whole bag. Obviously, it's pretty big, so there's that. Got some eggs. And this is the beginning of the bread haul. <laughs> I know it seems excessive. So we have some English muffins here. We have some wheat bread. We have some brioche hot dog buns, girl, so good. They're so good. Um, some honey wheat bread. We just have a regular vanilla brioche, vanilla cream brioche, like loaf, I guess you call this. And you can eat it as is, but what I do is I make French toast out of it and it's so good. Um, we have some brioche like buns, like hamburger buns. I have two of those. This. Was this on sale? No, this one wasn't on sale. But there was maple French toast bagels, and it's like a quick little breakfast. So I got two of those, I believe. Yeah, two of the maple um, bagels. And then there were some pumpkin spice bagels, and they were on sale, so I just wanted to try them, even though pumpkin spice season is over, air quotes. <laughs> I got the brioche bagels as well. These are so good. And then I have two loaves of brioche bread and another one of those brioche loaf thingies, I don't know what you call this. What is this called? I don't know, it just doesn't, it doesn't say, but this. I got another one of those. I got some flatbread, we love these. We'll end up needing more of these, but this is just like, good to get started because sometimes for rain, I will just like take one and just like cut it in sections and then, like I don't even have to unfreeze it. Like that's another thing about bread. So I know you're wondering like, where are you gonna put all this bread? But again, I put the bread in the freezer as well and it freezes very, very, very good. And even when you're getting ready for like a serving, you, I would literally just take one bagel out of the freezer. Like I only need to eat one bagel. So I would take one bagel out of the freezer and leave the rest of them in there. So I just love freezing bread. It's just a great option if you wanna like stock up on bread, but you don't wanna like be responsible for eating it all before it goes bad. So same thing with these. I could just like break off a piece of one and like make him a little pizza and keep the rest frozen. Like, so I love these, got two of those. And now I'm thinking about it, I usually get the pizza crust, but I didn't see it and I didn't even buy it today. Um, we got some wraps here because we love wraps. 
So this is the sun-dried tomato kind. Then I have the spinach herb kind. I got two of those because they like spinach herb wraps. Um, we got some more tortillas because my kid is a tortilla. Um, we got some pita bread. This is the whole wheat kind. And another pack of tortillas. Again, all this goes in the freezer. And then I got a pack of mama noodles. If you know about mama noodles, you, you already know about mama noodles. So it's really not much to say about those. And we actually already have noodles left over, but like I always keep like a stockpile of noodles. Let me show y'all. Here's our stock, current stockpile of noodles. And it is absent of mama noodles. I'm sorry, this ironing board's right here because my fiance wants to iron his clothes in the kitchen. Um, yeah, we don't have any mama noodles, but I always buy mama noodles and I buy these fire, fire. And you don't even have to go to the Asian grocery store to get these. I, they sell these at Target, but they only sell like a five pack. And that's not good enough for me. So I just go to the Asian grocery store and buy the big one. But yeah, those are my noodles that, um, that I always like to buy. And yeah, this is my grocery haul. So another important thing to remember, like I told you guys, the bread is gonna get put in the freezer. Everything, the ginger will be preserved and the lemon, the limes, if I don't get through them enough time, what I, what I like to do is, let me show y'all. If I don't get through them enough time, I like to juice them. So like, this is just fresh lime juice. Like I just juice lime and I juice the lemons because we use the juice to, um, we use the juice on like salads and stuff or to like massage the kale, we use like lemon juice. So it'll get used, I promise. Um, and for the meat, the meat. I have to break all of this meat down. So I actually forgot today, <laughs> me, I forgot. I forgot to buy uh, Ziploc bags because that's what I use to break down the meat. So I don't even know if I have enough to break down all of this. And when I say break down, that's literally what I mean. Like I just take it and make it into smaller components so that when I'm ready to cook, like throughout the week, I don't have to try to like unfreeze, you know, four pounds of chicken and I really only need like two wings. You understand what I'm saying? So let me show y'all our deep freezer. It's kind of messy right now, but this is my current situation in my deep freezer. And I know it looks crazy, but like usually, it still kind of is like that, but whatever. It is organized by like different types of meat. So the top shelf is supposed to be for beef, but my grandma bought us a ham <laughs> literally last year. And I thought it was raw and I was like, I don't want to cook no damn ham. So I looked recently and noticed that it's already smoked. So at some point in time, I'm going to take that out within like the next month or so, take it out and figure out like how I'm gonna like deal with this ham because I'm tired of looking at it but I don't want to wait like I don't want it to go to waste so we're gonna eat the ham but the top shelf is usually just um beef and chicken and then the second one is seafood um you see we run a little low child it's like all we have is mussels and there's some crawfish like pieces in there and a little bit of shrimp and a random roast that shouldn't be there and some broccoli and the next shelf there shouldn't be any of the broccoli down here, but that's, it is. But this, and this is just random like vegetable peelings and stuff. I'm starting to save them so that if I want to make a vegetable stock, I can. So when I peel something, I just put it in a Ziploc bag right here. You get the point. This is the bread section. And as you can see, it's, it's exactly what I told you. Like there's one bagel left in here, but we just take out what you need. So it doesn't have to all be defrosted, you know? And then on the last one, we got like a ton of boudin and <laughs> some pork. So chicken and beef, seafood, bread, and then there's pork down here. This is pretty much it <laughs> in terms of like my grocery haul. So now I actually need to wash my hands and get ready to put all this stuff up. So you guys can just watch me do that really quickly and I'll come back when I'm done. <laughs>
Okay, so I am back. It is, ooh, it's been like like maybe two hours or so um, since I started breaking down everything and putting it away. Most everything is gone. The ginger is still there because I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. Gingerbread house, because we're gonna make those today. Chips, I need to put those away and yeah. Most everything is put away and including the meat. I have um, sanitized this so it's just sitting right now and when it's done, I wipe it off. That's just how I um, break down everything when I buy like a ton of meat or anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. I hope it helped you out in some way. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.